are going to head into some motivation to carry you through the week. After all, that was one of the main focuses of me wanting to start Talks with Taylor Hendricks is so that we can all be a part of someone else's survival guide someday in the hopes that we can all change for the betterment of ourselves and for everybody um, in the world by becoming the adults we needed as children. The more success stories out there, the more success there will continue to be out there. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> we've been talking for months now about breaking generational trauma and unrealized generational curses that we can create generational wealth and prosperity. What we've also been talking about is how some people don't want you to do that because they themselves have not done that and they don't want to take accountability for passing down a lot of those hurtful things. Those 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 ideas that keep you in poor health, those those ideas and habits that keep you poor financially um, and those habits and ideas that keep you poor mentally and emotionally and spiritually. All right. We're working on trying to break all of those things. Okay. And some people don't want to see you do that. Some people don't want you to do it. And some people will act like they want you to do it, but in reality, try to sabotage you low key or talk a lot of S about it. You know what I'm saying? So today, what I want to tell you is really, really simple because this is going to happen whether you want it to realize it or not. When you are trying to do great things, you can't do epic shizit with basic people, okay? And some people don't want to see you win. Some people only want to be around you when you're winning, okay? And there's going to come times where you question if this journey you are now on is worth it. Everybody does that because it's hard. That's why not everybody achieves this, because if it was easy, everybody would have it, everybody would do it, and everybody would pass it down. But they don't, because it's not easy, and not everyone wants to put in the work. So, this, I promise you, this will happen, and when it does, I want you to think back to this video and ask yourself this question. So here it is. Next time you feel resentful about something or someone or you know, an event or a conversation or something that didn't happen, but should have, I want you, I want you to remember that feeling. And I want you to ask yourself, I want you to ask yourself this, am I resentful because they trespassed on my boundaries? Or am I resentful because I trespassed on my own boundaries by giving more than I'm actually comfortable giving? I want you to ask that of yourself because the answer may surprise you. When you are doing something that a lot of other people around you have not done, it's so easy to fall back on previous bad habits. That's why we always say on this podcast and on my YouTube channel, first you make your habits and then your habits make you, okay? And that's why we talked about diet and everything else last week. And that's why we're bringing this up this week. So the next time when you find yourself really resentful because you see people having it so easy or having things that they didn't work for, or they didn't deserve, or they said something that they maybe shouldn't have, or an opportunity went to someone else when it should have gone to you, whatever the case may be, and you feel really resentful about that, and you're like really mad, and, and, and you're just feeling very toxic on the inside because, you know, here you are putting in so much work on yourself and on your goals and everything else. And it's not necessarily happening in the time frame that you want. And you heard something you didn't like or someone did something that you didn't like or that you didn't deserve. Ask yourself, am I resentful because they trespassed on my boundaries or am I resentful because I trespassed on my own boundaries? And the reason why I want you to ask that is because sometimes when we're doing something that's difficult and we know that we made a lot of changes in our life to go on this journey that isn't easy, but the ultimate goal is worth it, sometimes we fall backwards by wanting to indirectly or subconsciously seek acceptance from other people that used to accept us that no longer do. Um, and some ways in which we do that is by giving more than what we're comfortable giving. And whose fault is that? Ours, not theirs. So again, the next time you're feeling resentful, no matter what the case may be, be honest and ask yourself, am I resentful because they trespassed on my boundaries or am I resentful because I trespassed on my own boundaries by giving more than I was comfortable giving? Um, that is a mistake I used to make so much. And when I started making changes to better myself as a person, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, successfully, everything else, so many people were dropping out of my life. And I couldn't understand it. I became resentful. I became, I was hurt. 
I was confused. I was angry. And then I realized, why was I trying so hard for the acceptance of people that were never really for me to begin with? They were not loyal to me. They were not loyal to my need of me, their need of me, I should say. And once I changed and once their needs changed, so too did their loyalty. So I had to ask myself, am I resentful because they trespassed on my boundaries? In certain cases, yeah, they did. In other cases, I had to ask myself, or am I resentful because I trespassed on my own boundaries by giving more than what I was comfortable giving? Sometimes both answers can be true. But once you can acknowledge that, then you can get to the root cause of the problem and continue moving forward instead of being stuck like trees with roots stuck in the ground. All right, everyone, this has been the latest episode of the Talks with Taylor Hendricks podcast. I come to you live every single Tuesday as part of the brand family with Channel Attitude on Russo'sBrand.com. You get over 20 plus different podcasts and live streams, all for less than a large cup of coffee per month with no long-term commitment. You will not find a better deal out there in the podcast world. I guarantee it. All right, everyone. Talk soon.